Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and till now we have completed almost every feature or you can say functionality for this blog app using Node.js with the Firebase real time. Uh, I mean for the for, for the Firebase store using the Firebase storage, Firebase uh, authentication and Firebase real time database. Now uh, the last feature which is left here in this uh, in this series is basically the uh, I mean to allow a user to delete uh, his post okay so I mean how we can do it so I mean let's do it so go to the uh, user studio code come here to the my blogs and here first of all we need to create a remove button alongside with the uh, post okay so on our my blogs uh, when we say after this displaying the description okay at the end after this description let's add a button so all you're gonna need is just to copy this and paste it here that's it and now we have to change it so now instead of I mean the rest of the thing are, uh, I mean we will be using the same thing but now remove this and add this double quotation in here we have to uh, open our button tag okay so you can just write button and then also let's close this button tag and now the next thing is to here we can say class equals to single quotation form dash group we can also add this class to the other divs okay and it is totally up to you I mean if you do not want to add you can ignore it as we just want to add this button for now okay so let's say class equals to form dash control btn btn light bg dot dark and text color will be white and yeah that's it class form control between light video dark and yeah now the next thing is to give name to our this button so you can say delete this post or this blog whatever you want okay delete this blog or if you want you can say delete this post I mean it is totally up to you guys okay now the next important thing is to add on click okay so what we're gonna do is here we can say on click equals to and we are going to create a function so when a user click on this remove delete this post button we are going to call that function okay by using this on click so how I mean let's name that we can say delete record we can give that method a name as delete record or you can say delete blog record okay and then after this you can just put these two braces make sure to follow the exact steps okay otherwise you will get error in case if you uh, write any single quote or double quote extra okay so after uh, inside these two I mean we have to pass this uh, delete block record uh, a key I mean let's say if a user click on this post I mean on this blog then each blog has its own key if I show you from the database then basically I am talking about this key by which you, uh, you can recognize each post okay and only then we can remove that post so how we can do it all you need is just to uh, first write single code then double code okay and then add the concatenation sign plus and then uh, we can say single single blog dot key that's it and yeah then put double quotation remove this last one okay and then put single quotation okay make sure to write exactly as I wrote here okay just this thing and now what we're gonna do is let's create this function so below here I mean 
above this script tag you can say function that function exact name it will delete record delete block record and then uh, it will receive the key from that so we can pass this key to it okay which means that this function need key okay and we are calling this function here we are calling this function and we are passing the uh, single block key to it that is the block on which a user will click okay we are passing that key to this uh, method or this function and now we have to write a query in order to delete this uh, specific uh, block on which the user will click okay from the firebase real-time database so we can say delete ref equals to firebase dot database dot ref dot child child is our blog node okay blogs dot child and we are searching for that specific post which has this key on which the user has clicked so yeah that's it now the next thing is to remove it so how we can do it we can just say return delete ref dot remove and it will remove that post or that blog on which a user click we can add a uh, I mean the listeners attach the listener to it that is if uh, succeeded and if any error occur okay so we will do it uh, using the console I mean for that you can also use a windows dot alert I mean if you want to display the message in the pop-up okay but I will just say dot then dot catch okay so inside this dot then remove this one dot okay okay not this one sorry remove this you can say dot then then add these two braces we can say function then put two and after this these two curly braces let's move it to the next line and yeah then we can say dot catch function make sure to put a semicolon here and then we can write the message here by using the console log we can say console dot log so here we can say remove successfully removed and then here also let's add a message to the console that is if any error occurred okay so we can say error occurred so yeah i think yeah i would not i think but it is complete okay so save all okay and uh, from here you can run it by just writing http dash server and then press enter you will get this and now let's come here and what we're going to do here is now let's remove this post on oh, okay first of all let's come here i mean let me show it to you refresh it okay and then comes to the home so peter parker has two posts which is this one the first one then the second one okay also yeah we are on home page now if you go to the my blogs since we have added that button on the my blog i mean on the my blogs page okay here you can see you delete this post delete this post so two posts uh, Peter Parker has uploaded. Now let's delete this one. Okay, if I click on it, and here you can see that post has been deleted. Here you can see it. Okay, it is deleted successfully from the database. Okay, here you can see it. Now if you come back to the home page, then that post already I mean deleted from the home page also. Since it is deleted from the database, so it means it is deleted from the home page also. Now let's delete this one post. Okay, which is belongs to Peter Parker as Peter Parker is online now. So just click on it. And here you can see it it is deleted successfully okay you come here then my blogs is now empty now the user has not uploaded any post I mean he delete his post okay and yeah so here you can see it 
So yeah, I mean that's it for this video. And if anyone is new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel Korean Cafe. Thumbs up for this video. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account. The username you will see in the on the screen on your screen. So you can follow me on Instagram for recent updates. So yeah, take care of yourself and bye for now.